We've been asking, TD and City have been asking people at home what they want to learn more about. So this week we actually asked, what do-it-yourself project did you want to learn more about? And everyone at home, Ria, said they wanted to be more organized. So coming up next, we're taking on the kids' craft area. Third one. one. (laughs) There's the blooper for you. Kids' craft area. Good morning, and something I know uh, I need a little help with, and maybe some of our viewers do. Well, obviously, they voted for it. We're helping everybody get organized, Linda, and we're taking on the kids' area first, right? Absolutely, for sure. The kids' area is often an area that's such, such shambles because you've got every piece of art, um, every, you know, arts accessory. So, for example, here, what we created here is sort of a self-serve concept. Basically, rather than one big junk drawer, it's the conquer and divide. You have your markers in one area, you have pencil crayons, and, of course, glue scissors so a kids can help themselves when they're doing art in the kitchen. Okay, now you have something that's a little bit more controlled in mm-hmm. that one there. So when kids are younger and you need to monitor their crafts, we recommend putting it into a container. So in this case, the paints are all in a box so that it can tuck the way high without them getting into it and getting into trouble <laughs> and bring them up when you monitor them. And then it's also nice to have something that's totally easy access, right? So rather than being, you know, tied to your kids, mom, I need this, I need that, this item here hangs behind the door. Is this just like a shoe rack? Um, similar to a shoe okay. rack, right? Yeah, so you could use it for shoes, but it's a little wider pocket. Right. So again, because it's clear and visual, your kids can see that everything here. They can help themselves, and they can just uh, bring out and do the work and, you know, create the artistic flair. And more importantly, put it back. Absolutely. Uh, Thank Absolutely. you very much, Linda. Very We've got well. lots of great organizational tips uh, throughout the morning. We ask for more information on Linda. You can go to her website. You know, and we all have this scenario, or at least most of us, I think, Linda, where you've got that rat's nest of, of cables and, oh my gosh, what do I do with them all, right? You're helping us get organized. Absolutely. It's so unsightly, so what do you do? So here's some products that you look at. First of all, when you do have that rat's nest, there's some products on the market that are cable wraps. So cord wraps like this here, different sizes, small, medium, large. There's also another cable clip if you're for storage. But cheap and cheerful, what do you do with all these toilet rolls? So even with a toilet paper roll, you can identify and keep all your cables and cords organized. What a great idea. So as far as um, identifying them, but once it's all organized and wrapped, what do you do for ID? So you're looking at Velcro ties, something very simple, as tying up with Velcro, as you can see here. There's also identification systems whereby it's cable flags or even a call-out box. So using a dry erase marker, attach that to your cord. Or lastly, cheap and cheerful again, the answer to these bread ties, using bread ties, you can identify them, as you can see here in this photograph. That is such a good idea, because what do you do with those anyways? They get thrown into the junk drawer. There's no doubt about that. Exactly. And then lastly, a before and after shot, using a cable box like this one, where your power bar is inside, and you can tuck all the cords inside, Put a lid on it, out of sight, out of mind, as you can see in the before and after shot. Again, managing all your cables and that unsightly rat's nest is, in fact, doable. It is doable. For more information on Linda and how she can keep you organized and some of these great tips, you can go to her website. But isn't that such a great idea, Riaz? Oh, Michelle, great idea, hey? That is a re- it's a really great idea because mine looks like a rat's nest behind my TV, so that is a perfect solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and hey, go Lions, go. We are getting organized coming up next. We're tackling the kitchen. Stay with us. You're watching BT. Let's talk organization first, though. We're taking it to the kitchen. Thanks very much, Riaz. Uh, Linda, kitchen is a big one for most people. Oh, it is. It's yeah. a common hub for everyone. So everyone comes to the kitchen at some point and several times throughout the day. So in this pantry here, especially if you're in a rental accommodation, you don't have the luxury of a custom bill. So how do you create that custom look without having the, the dollars put into it? So using containers, as you can see here, you're creating drawers on a shelf. So with things that are in the back, easy to pull out. Several different types of shelves, um, different types of containers that you can use, and also containers here. So a self-serve area for your kids, for example, using the cereal section in containers that are clear so you can see the volume. Also, they can help themselves and self-serve. I love that. It's such a great idea. So also... Typical of the pantry, everything is all cluttered. You can't see and find everything. You've got a basket of spices, lots of jars, and a whole bunch of granola bars just sort of thrown in a drawer. So different containers that we have that you can use is this tiered one for soups. So the soups are all lined. You can see everything to the back of the shelving. For spices, for example, there's the specific spice containers that you can use for all of the packaging. 
and another size container for all the granola bars and snacks that the kids can self-serve themselves. So lots of container options that are available out there with lids, without lids, and various different sizes. And then you can wash them after, because how Absolutely. many times have you ended up with the pepper mill with all the pepper Yeah, and the package got a here? leak in them. So many great ideas. For more on Linda and the services she could provide and some great tips just like these, you can go to her website, Riaz. We're going to tackle more organizing throughout the morning. Yeah, you know, and TD and City asked you what you wanted to learn more about when it came to do-it-yourself projects. And everyone voted, or at least the majority voted, to learn a little bit more about how to be organized. So guess what? That's what we're doing coming up next. We're taking it to the closet. Stay with us. You're watching BT. So, Linda, you've been helping us get organized. And... The closet can be somewhat of a sinkhole for a lot of people. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> lots of consumers and lots of purchases. So when, especially when you're in a rental accommodation or when a closet renovation project is not within your budget, here are some products that you can actually add in to create a closet solution. So this is a build-in, of course, but rather than this, using the hang bar, you can actually hang the closet area, complete with a drawer as you need to. And these could be used for towels, for clothing, or a smaller version like this one here for shoes. It could be even for umbrellas, um, scarves, mittens, and all of this stuff. So nice and handy, very portable, and you can create your own. Great so ideas. other solutions that you can have, accessories that you can add into your closet, are these accessories. So what do you do with the scarves? If you don't have any drawer space, here is an, an idea that you can just hang just like your shirts right into your closet bar for your scarves. So nice and simple. Where do you get something like that? This is something you can get at um, London Drugs or Room and Order downtown has um, lots of solutions, lots of accessories. We've got a website for that Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. And even including here. So even for jewelry organizing, when you have the, you don't have enough desk space or drawer space, using these pockets, very visual. When you need to get out the door quick in the morning, you can see everything and get dressed really quickly. Wow, these are some great tips. I feel like maybe there is hope. For some. And, you know, we were talking <laughs> about this earlier, too. A lot of people think, you know, you need more space, but really that just gives you more space to clutter up, Yeah, you up, just right? need specific organizing products. Excellent. Well, for more details on all the good work that Linda does, and, of course, that website as well with that store, uh, you can go to the website coming up on your screen. But thanks to our viewers for helping us get organized, and thank thanks, you so Don. much, Linda. You're very Back welcome. to you, Rias.